Someone followed me home one time. That was crazy and illegal. Really? <laughs> next question. I have had one girl who I signed her arm and the next day she came back and she'd had it tattooed and it was infected. So I just kind of felt really bad for her. But she still seemed to be quite happy with it. So hopefully it's okay now. People just walk up and hand you a phone to talk to somebody. It sucks like to, to have it happen because you're like, hello, hi. And they're like, who's this? And you tell them you feel so stupid telling them your name. And then they're like, no, it's not. And you have to spend the next like 15 seconds of your life trying to convince somebody that you don't want to talk to that it is you. I've been sent um, socks before, brownies, um, a pen. I've been sent, oh, I've been sent nipple covers with my face on it. Someone was like doing a start up, a start up and she said that she had a GoFundMe. And it was nipple covers with my face on it. I came out of set and I walked out and there was a woman there with a picture, a poster of a hedgehog. And she said, you look like this hedgehog. And then she tried to kiss me, but really, really aggressively. And then security had to like pick her up and she just kept screaming the word hedgehog. Beat that. I can't beat that. You know, a couple of years ago, I was at the Oscars and um, and I saw Meryl Streep and she came up to me and she was like, oh, it's you, it's you. And I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she goes, I loved Lucy so much. And I was like, what? Like Meryl Streep loved Lucy? It was just like, cool. Okay, and then like that just basically was the best fan interaction I've ever had. I was like, okay, I'm good. I could retire now. I had someone say, you're Katy Perry. And I went, no, no, I'm not. And he went, yes, you are. And I went, no, I'm not. And he goes, you are. I had this argument about, and then eventually I went, okay, and I just walked away. A lot of the time people are like, oh, can you get on my back and we'll do, we'll do a picture. It's like, yeah, all right, I'll oblige. Um, but one time, this guy picked me up and I really, I don't think he'd ever lifted anything in his life because he was, he was grabbing me like, I was kind of like a spider monkeys around him. Um, and I very nearly fell straight off. So that was that was a, that was an interest. There's this photo of me somewhere on the internet, looking slightly concerned, gripping this stranger. Um, but that was definitely a weird one. This guy said, "I don't know, ask you a favor." Um, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, cool, man." Uh, and he said, "I want you to propose to my girlfriend." And I was like, uh, "What? Excuse me? No, uh, what?" And then he gets his ring out, and I was like, "No, mate. I think you you should really do this. I, I think this is a terrible idea." He was like, "No, don't worry. I've got." And I looked at her, and then she just started crying, and it was like, oh, this is actually real. Oh, how have I ended up in this situation? I've got sent something, a sex object. Yeah, that's weird. I've been at the urinal, and a dude, oh, you know, hard time. talking to me about, about that. And then, Shaking their hands. Yeah. Someone came all the way from Italy just to, just to come and ask me a question about video games. I did meet a woman who had uh, my face tattooed on her arm. The death threats to, to my <laughs> character's address were, were quite uh, intense. The death threats. I've had a couple that have, sh that have showed up to my house, which is unlisted and, and I don't, uh, and I've gotten police involved, yeah. When we won the Oscar for Best Picture for Hurt Locker, we ran up on stage and I turned around and Tom Hanks was there and I was like, yo, you're Forrest Gump, what are you doing here? And he said, you, I just gave you Best Picture. And I hugged and kissed Tom Hanks because I was so excited and I completely didn't think about it until afterwards because it was Tom Hanks. I was walking to my car and a, f a person who had been there for hours standing in the cold, it was such a emotional, I guess, because also their body was tired, they just start broke down in tears. I've signed a few boobs in that, a girl, like I was at like Dragon Con and the girl was like, oh, can you sign my boobs? And she just, I was like, uh, I said, I, I said, I, you know I have to hold it. She's like, fine, just popped it out. I said to the husband, do you mind? He's like, no, go ahead, man. She's been wanting this for ages. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this woman was convinced that I was the father of her kid and I had never, ever met her. She marches in the restaurant, restaurant's full, and she goes, <clears throat> are you gonna deny that he's yours? And I go, what? She goes, are you willing to take a paternity test or not? And I go, what? She goes, he's your son. And that was a very, surreal experience. They ask you to sign a body part and then they send you a picture the next day showing that they had it permanently tattooed on their body. Like, I don't know if that's such a good idea. And there were hundreds of fans outside. It was a premiere. And we just walked over to the edge. <laughs> it's a bit like being in the Beatles. It's a cross between uh, 
the Beatles, the Pope and <laughs> <Yeah>. Mussolini. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy and the girl came up to me and they were a couple. The guy was like, can you take a photo of my girlfriend? She loves you, blah, blah, blah. So we, uh, we were having a photo together and then she looked at me and really intensely looked at me and went, can I lick your face? And I was like, uh, what, no, that's, I, that's a bit weird. Uh, and the guy behind the camera was going, go on, no, Tom, go on, lick her face, lick her face, lick her face. I was like, I don't want to lick her face. He's <laughs> gone, lick my girlfriend's face. Uh, I have so many. Um, and it, may, it, will be, uh, it will be impolite to, to select one. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's lots of interesting experiences I've had.